JLATD. Just want to share with you my new router. Um, it's an older uh, Delta router. What we're going to do is do a restoration on it. I've already kind of been sanding the top. If you get real close, you can see that it's kind of, you know, old looking. Basically, I'm going to sand the top. Then we're going to take the top off and then we're going to oil the inside because it's kind of rusty it's not too bad then we're going to knock you know some of this rust off with a brush let's get started all right guys so i got an orbital sander here and i got two different grits of sandpaper i got uh 120 grit i used that last and then i have 60 grit see it right there all right let's start off with the 60 grit to give it a little uh, conditioning with a little bit of DW40. I'm going to spread it across the top of it and I'm going to sand it while that's on it. You can see how much metal is on it. guys so now I'm just gonna wipe it off with some degreaser top of this unit has four 10 millimeter bolts on it. We're going to take those off. So we got the four 10 millimeters out and the washers. Let's take the top off and see what's up under it. So, first thing we're going to do, it's really nothing to it, just the motor here. It just needs to be cleaned off real good in there. It's a lot of, it's a lot of dust in there. See that? A lot of dust.
right guys so i put a um milwaukee led light in here so that you can see in here see how it looks in there see that rod right there controls um how the blade goes up and down if you come here on the side that's that knob right there it's so much um I ain't gonna say rust because it's not actually rusty, but it's so much sawdust and stuff on it that it's hard to turn. See if I got my hand on it. If I look down in there, see that? But you can see this thing moving up and down. Hold on, let's see. See it going up. So it controls it going up and down. So what we're gonna do is we're going to clean all of that off of it and lube it up. I'm gonna flip it upside down. Mine has the blade in it, so I'm gonna lean it off a little bit. got a small uh, wire brush and I'm gonna clean up in here real good then I'm gonna blow it out after I get all this dust and stuff out of here because some of it's caked on after I get a lot of this dust out of here I'm going to uh, use I'm gonna lube it up See how it looks then. My turn. Not running. Oh well, I'm right.
guys so we got it real clean down in there um, what I'm going to do is turn this around right here let's see right here um, this is the locking lever once you raise it up or down you lock it in place with this uh, lever here I'm gonna turn it and get the rust off of it just keep turning until it comes loose there we go see how there's rust on it you are gonna sand all that off you can use what you like to sand it off uh, I'm just gonna use this orbital sand and just hold it in my hand until I get all the rust off of it sand it down knock a little rust off off the bottom is that key uh, to tighten it I'm just gonna spray a little black paint on it all right sprayed the handle I might hit a little bit more right there but other than that it's pretty clean all right guys so I'm gonna flip this over to the side See if I can get some of this rust off the screws and stuff. Knocking the rust off. If you spray it like this, make sure you don't let too much of it get right here on the switch. So as soon as you spray the switch, go ahead and wipe the switch off.
pretty clean. Now what I'm going to do is try to clean this handle up right here. I would like to take this handle out, but um, in order to take the handle out, I would have to take a lot of stuff loose and it's not really worth it. Too. All you're doing is just cleaning it off, making it look as clean as you can get it. Same with the back. Be careful when you're in here cleaning this out. It'll get stuck. Okay. Got it pretty clean. Now, I'm going to spray a little WD-40 in here. Only because I don't like the way the way this sounds and spray it right in here. I wouldn't suggest spraying a lot of uh, WD-40 down in here because uh, some of these parts in here are going to get dust all on them and if it's oil all on it, it's going to stick to it and you don't want it to stick to it. So you want it to be kind of as dry here as possible. 
All right, I'm gonna pause it for a second. All right, I'm gonna put a little bit of this um, white lithium grease right on the knob that lets it go up and down, right on the threads. It's like threads in there. I'm gonna spray it on the threads because I want it to. as far as it goes. Myself. I rolled it all the way down and I'm going to clean as much of this dust that's in here out and then I'm going to put a little bit of this spray some of this blue ball. Everything's clean. I am going to hit this a little bit. to stop that from rusting. Just give me a little piece of paper. Stick it over it like that. Alright, and then, so that's a, that's 
pull this off without trying not to touch it. That's good. And then if you want, you can wipe this part off. It got a little paint on it. I don't think it matters, but. Like that. All right. Now, all we gotta do is put it back together. Well, I do want to wipe a little bit of that grease off in there. Let me go. some of that grease up just a little bit. I don't want a whole bunch of that just sitting in there. Like I said, if you leave too much in there, the dust will stick to it. Just like that. And there's a little spring in there too. Um, if you would like to, you can hit that spring with a little bit of water. Just kind of spray it. Then just wipe it in real good. So it's not just wet. Okay. That's basically it. Now we're gonna go ahead and um, put the top back on. All right guys, so we're gonna put the top on. Now, this line right here goes towards the front of the machine. Just kind of look at it from the sides, up under the bottom. Make sure that you put the blade it down. It doesn't have to be really far, but just put it down so that the top will go on evenly. Try your best to get it as straight as possible. basically looking at the hole in here to get it evenly around it. Try to clean in here as much as you can. I would use the, the brush, this brush here. Scrubbing here real good.
hardware that came with it and we just go clean all that off I'll do that later but um, let's plug it up and see if it works that's it I probably dress it up a little bit more but um, you know with a little bit more oil, but other than that it's fine All right guys Just wanted to show you How it looked with the fence on Basically all you do is take the screw put it up through the bottom Put the fence on Just like that. Put your washer on and put your fastener down. Just like that. So, that down right there. Turn it down. Right there. Just like that. Push it, you know, in and out as close as you need it to be. Um, about right there, right there. And then what you need to do is take a screwdriver and tighten the fence down in the inside. And that's it. I'm all finished. This is J O A T D, and I'm out. Oh, 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 oh,